All right, everybody. So, um, so this is just going to be about the um, the bit after the second chorus of "Stand by Me," the bit where we're kind of mimicking that string section way. It, it sort of goes up, you know, big um, crescendo. So, you know, the uh, third fret, fifth fret, seventh fret business we were doing last night. So, and at the end of this video, I'm just going to go for another quick run through of the uh, um, that bit at the very start and at the very end as well. Okay, so we're coming at coming at that bit from the chorus. So we're coming from a G to the C, and then we move up. So a couple of different ways to approach it, okay? Because normally we do the C with your third finger. Now the problem with that is for moving up is that you'll end up sliding up just using one finger for all the notes. Now if you can do that, that's fine, but it's generally better practice to use multiple fingers instead of moving your hand around. It just makes for smoother playing, generally speaking. And as well, when you're sliding like this, you know, you might, it, it, it's pretty easy to just slide up too far or not far enough and end up there. So, so what I'd recommend is coming from the G, stand by me, just going straight to the C with your first finger. Um, now, if you kind of instinctually go to the uh, C, as I do usually, with your third finger, you can just sort of swap it out in the middle. It might be a little bit tricky, it might be easier to just hit it with your first finger from the get-go, but you can do it like this. Stand by me, stand by me, and then go up. So, but I'd recommend just hitting it from the start with your first finger. But if you want to do it this way, and you know you've practiced it then you can hit the notes reliably no problem at all there okay so so i'll just play through it a couple of times really slow and uh, break it down a bit further then right so i'll just go through the individual parts first actually right so we're going from g stand by me stand by me so three five seven seven five three open a minor add nine normal a minor f like normal and G like normal. And for anyone who wasn't there uh, last night, A minor add nine. Sounds kind of fancy, but it's really fairly simple. It's just, um, you have the normal A minor, but then you're holding down the bottom string on the second fret as well. Okay. So that's all there is to that one. So again, we're going, stand by me, stand by me. of it slowly so uh, you can play along with this so again we're going from the G in the last chorus two three four stand by me stand by me three five seven seven five three open a minor add nine a minor So simple enough, but I what I would say is, um, however you're going to approach that C, be it you know kind of going straight straight to it with the first finger, swapping it out halfway through, or just using your third finger, um, decide early on which one of those ways you'd like to go about it, and then just kind of do it that way, um, you know, just just for consistency's sake, and um, should be grand. So what trickier bit then is that intro. So so generally, if you start off like this with your middle finger, second finger on the second fret of the bottom string, third finger, third fret of the second string up. Because now you can do it like this with your first two fingers and then use the third finger to get that, 
stop it. Now, two reasons why you might not want to do that. First of all, those three fingers are going to be bigger, so it's going to be harder to kind of fit them all into that space. Second reason is you come at it from a G. So your two, so your third and uh, second fingers are already in that in that position, and then you just need to come down with the uh, fourth finger to top off the melody. So you're going from G, so there's no point in coming at it from a G like this, and then swapping it out, doing it this way. So coming from the G, all you need to do take that first finger away and you're already in that position to do it okay so so you're coming down we'll start off here Let's press volume now the first thing is strumming down short of the last string okay so so the way i do it is normally just down hit that second fret note little finger comes down for the third and I flick back up. Okay, so then we're going down. So that's the basic melody, but all you gotta do is Take both these two top fingers away for that second fret note, and then you're completely open. Well, not actually, so because you go straight to the A minor then. So you're coming. So you can go down, take the little finger away, up, A minor. So then, the A, once you hit the A minor, That's third fret on the third string down. And it's not it's not sort of um, uh, like the rest of the rhythm, that, that particular note here, okay? It's da da da. It's not like that. It's mo it's actually simpler than that. It's just So then coming from the A minor to the F, we've got that note again. So the ma bass melody is so that's open bottom string, third fret on the second string up, and then the first fret, that note that's in F. So we're going from the A minor, then strum the whole thing. Sorry. Sorry again. Full strum of the A minor. This is going from A minor to F now. Full strum of the A minor. Click back up with that third fret on the second string up. F. Then, this is kind of tricky. You can... Going from the F to the G, you've got first fret here. I'll just take this. Normally this would be here. I'll just take it away so it's more visible. Uh, so you've got thumb down on the second string up. First fret and pull up on that open string, then hit the G. So then you got, um, and then from that G, all you need to do is take that first finger away and you're right in the position to do the next one. See you next Monday.